Question 6 says, a convex lens of focal length 15 cm and a concave lens of focal length 10 cm are placed at a separation of 20 cm with common principal axis. Light ray coming parallel to principal axis is first incident on concave lens then on convex lens. The distance of the final image from the concave lens is. Dear students, let us draw a ray diagram to understand the situation. There is a concave lens and then there is a convex lens. Let this be the principal axis. It is given that light ray coming parallel to the principal axis. So initially there are light rays which are coming parallel to the principal axis which will be further incident on the convex lens and this convex lens will converge those rays at a particular point which will be the final image. It is to be noted that the virtual image formed by the concave lens will act as an object for the convex lens. Now for convex lens object distance can be calculated using the following principle. The concave lens has a focal length of 10 cm so this distance will be 10 cm as the image will be formed at the focal point and this separation is given to be equal to 20 cm so total of 20 and 10 is 30 cm with sign convention the object distance can be written as minus 30 cm the focal length of the convex lens is given to be 15 cm we have to find out the image distance using the lens formula that 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u we can find out the value of V which will be equal to 30 centimeters and hence the distance of image from the convex lens will be 30 centimeters while from the concave lens it will be 30 plus 20 that is 50 centimeters which is our final answer and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 2. Now let us solve the question number 7. Question 7 says an equilateral prism is made up of a material of refractive index root 2. The angle of minimum deviation for the prism is. Dear students, for a prism we can use the formula that mu is equal to sin A plus dm by 2 divided by sin of A by 2 where A is the prism angle and dm is the angle of minimum deviation. Here in mu is the refractive index given to be equal to root 2. So root 2 will be equal to sine 60 plus dm by 2. Please note we are using a to be 60 because it is an equilateral prism divided by sine 60 by 2 which means that sine 60 plus dm by 2 will be equal to 1 by root 2 which means 60 plus dm by 2 will be equal to 45 degrees and hence dm will be equal to 30 degrees. Therefore dear students for this question the correct answer is as per option number 4. Now let us move to question number 8. Question 8 says a telescope has an objective lens of focal length 60 cm and eyepiece of focal length 5 cm is focused on a far distant object. The length of the instrument when final image forms at the least distance of distinguishing is. Dear students, for eyepiece here, the image is being formed at the least distance of distinguishing. Therefore, VE, that is the image distance for eyepiece, will be equal to minus 25 centimeters. The focal length of eyepiece is given to be equal to 5 centimeters. Let us try to find out the object distance for eyepiece. Using the lens formula, we can write down that 1 by Fe is equal to 1 by Ve minus 1 by Ue. On substituting the given values, we can find out the value of Ue which turns out to be equal to minus 4.17 centimeters. Now, dear students, the tube length can be written as F0 plus Ue where F0 is the focal length of the objective which is given to be equal to 60 and UE has a magnitude of 4.17 so it will be 64.17 centimeters and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 3. Now let us move to question number 9. 
Question 9 says an air bubble in a glass lab with refractive index 1.5 is 5 cm deep when viewed from one surface and 7 cm deep when viewed from opposite face. The thickness of the glass lab is. Dear students, we know that mu can be written as real depth divided by apparent depth. So therefore, from first surface, the real depth can be written as mu into apparent depth, which is given to be equal to 5. So this will be 1.5 into 5, that is 7.5 centimeters. Similarly, for second surface, the real depth can be calculated, which will be equal to mu into 7. So this will be 1.5 into 7 and this will be equal to 10.5 centimeters. Dear students, the real thickness of the glass lab would be addition of the real depth from both sides. Therefore, the real thickness would be 7.5 plus 10.5 that is 18 centimeters. And hence, the correct answer is option number 2. Now let us proceed dear students and solve the question number 10. Question 10 says the intensity at a point at a distance r from a source which produces cylindrical wavefront varies as. Dear students, for cylindrical wavefronts, the source is a line source. And for a line source, the intensity as a function of perpendicular distance from it is inversely proportional to the distance itself. This is a fairly easy theoretical based question and the correct answer for this is option number 3. Now let us move and proceed to solve the question number 11.